All right, so we're back with another Pro Tools quick tip. And in this video, we're gonna be learning how to consolidate an entire Pro Tools session into a new location, whether you want to be doing this simply for the act of moving a session from one drive to another, or if you're trying to archive a project that's already been completed and you wanna future-proof it. Now, what I mean by future-proofing it is Let's say you're using a platform as a sound designer like SoundQ, which um, actually downloads the audio files from the cloud using the platform and stores them in a different location on your, in this case, on your internal drive. Uh, so if you're familiar with SoundQ, it'll actually save it in the downloads folder in a file called SoundQ. So that's not ideal in the long run because a lot of things could happen. I mean. First and foremost, if you're going to be opening this on another computer in the future, like you might not have access to those files anymore. Or if you're using a platform like Sound, uh, sorry, like Dropbox, it will actually, uh, it might end up, you know, being stored uh, online only, and then you won't have access to them. Or you might just delete the files because they're taking up too much space and, you know, not realizing uh, that it's going to mess up your entire Pro Tools session, which I am speaking from experience. So, do not do this. What I recommend is in the long run, you're going to want to make sure to consolidate your Pro Tools session. So how we do that is you're going to want to go and file. Now you have two options here. You have save as, which is not the one that we want. You actually want to click save copy in. If you just click save as, it will just save a copy of the Pro Tools session file. And it won't actually copy the folder, if you know what I'm talking about, like because Pro Tools sessions are, are run inside of an entire folder structure. So save copy in will copy that entire folder structure and it will consolidate each and every audio clip in the session into that new folder. So to make sure that happens, you want to select audio files. And if you're working with video reference material, you're gonna wanna click also movie slash video files. Also, just make sure that all the information up here is accurate, as it should be uh, by default. If um, there's nothing weird going on with your Pro Tools session, and once you're done that, you're going to want to click OK, and you'll want to select the new location of where you're going to be storing uh, this copy. So it'll either be in a drive, the new drive that you want to work from, or the backup drive that you're going to be archiving your, your session to. Now, I'm not going to do it in this case because the process can take quite a while depending on how many uh, audio files you have in your sessions because it will actually be copying and consolidating each and every audio file. But the advantage of this is that everything will be conveniently located in one location and from, from that point on, you want to be using that session as your main session. So. Uh, before deleting the old one, you, you might want to open it up and make sure that everything is linked up correctly and that the process went smoothly. But once you're done, you can actually just toss out the old session and just work with the new one that you just created. So I hope that this makes your audio post production process more efficient. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button, comment and subscribe to the channel for more Pro Tools quick tips just like this one.